Hello dear students, welcome to Inastava. Today's lesson is for the third year students of English class and the topic is the Kostelic family. My name is Anita and I'll be your teacher for the day. In today's lesson you will listen to the text about the Kostelic family and you will write a newspaper article. For this lesson you'll need just regular stuff your notebook or a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, and your smartphone or laptop person with computer connected to the internet. A powerful quote, isn't it? What I would like you to do now is to think about the quote you've just read. And then take a piece of paper, pause the video, and write down a dream of yours so big that everybody else would think of it as elusive. Everybody else but you. Pause the video, think about it and write it down. Now that you've done it, let's watch a short video about people who chase their dreams and achieve success against all odds. So who are they and what do they have in common? I'm sure you recognize at least one of the three top athletes from the video. They are Usain Bolt, Alan Iverson and our Luka Modric. And what do they have in common? They are outstanding world-class athletes whose road to success was paved with hardship, effort and struggles. Of course, success doesn't come overnight and it doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. Now try to think of at least five adjectives which best describe a top athlete. Pause the video and write them down. And here is my list. Diligent, Focus-driven, enthusiastic, dedicated, and resilient. In each of the following five sentences, there is an adjective marked in bold and italics. Your task is to read the sentences and replace the adjective with one of the adjectives from the list. Hit the pause button and do the exercise. And now let's check your answers. Goal oriented is replaced with focus driven. Passionate is replaced with enthusiastic. Mentally strong, resilient. Hardworking, diligent, committed, dedicated. And what about the top athletes in this photo? Do you recognize them? Who are they? How are they related? What sport did they compete in? A lot of questions to be answered. They are Ivica and Janica Kostelic 
former skiers together with their father and coach Ante Kostelic. In today's lesson, you'll listen to the text about the Kostelic family and find out many interesting pieces of information about one of the most famous sets of siblings in the world of sports. But before we listen to the text, I'd like you to do a task. Here are five short gap texts about alpine skiing. Your task is to think of the word that best fits each gap. After you've read it, you'll know how many disciplines in skiing there are, what they are called, and what the basic rules of each discipline are. Pause the video and try to fill in the gaps. Okay, let's see how many gaps you filled in correctly. Slalom. The slalom competition consists of two runs. The skier's score is based on the combined time of both runs. It is a race over a winding and zigzag course marked by poles or gates which are the closest together. If a skier misses a gate, he or she is disqualified. Giant slalom. The giant slalom consists of two runs after which a skier's times are combined. It involves skiing between sets of poles spaced at a greater distance from each other than in slalom, but less than in super G. Super giant slalom. Super giant slalom is a racing discipline. It has fewer gates than in slalom or giant slalom. It is decided by just one run. Downhill. The downhill competition is based only on one run. The course, which is longer than the others, has the highest vertical drop, which makes it the fastest discipline. Combined, it is the combination of slalom and downhill skiing as a single event. And now it's time to listen to the text. Ivica and Janica Kostelic were born in Zagreb. Ivica in 1979 and Janica in 1982. Having been athletes themselves, their parents taught them not only love of sports, but nature as well. Despite being a world-class handball player, their father, Ante, was never chosen to join the national team. Therefore, he decided if his children were about to take up sport, it would be an individual one. So, they took up skiing. He made the right decision and the lack of financial support marked the beginning of their road to success. As Croatia is almost a snow-free country, where training facilities and ski courses are scarce, the Kostelic family had to look for snow in the neighbouring Alpine countries. While travelling between competitions and training venues, they would sleep in tents and at times in their family car, a 12-year-old larder. Occasionally, their method of paying at petrol stations was with sporting equipment, such as skis. Their father had become their coach, whose exhausting regimen and rustic training methods were often called into question. He went to extreme lengths to ensure they would find athletic success. Yet, he proved everybody wrong. The training schedules he created turned out to be the most successful, and Ivica and Janica became regarded as two of the most active, diverse, and respected skiers on the scene. Janica made her debut in the 1996-97 season, winning all 22 events she entered, and claimed the top junior titles in slalom and giant slalom. In 1998, at the Nagano Winter Olympics, she was the proud flag bearer at the opening ceremony where she finished 8th in the combined event. At the time, this was the highest finishing place by any Croatian Olympian. A serious knee injury in 1999 almost finished her off, but she managed to claw her way to the very peaks of skiing. Then, in the 2000-2001 season, she claimed her first World Cup title. This led to 2002 Salt Lake City Winter Olympics where she literally swept aside the entire competition, winning a combined gold, silver in the Super G, gold in the Slalom, and giant Slalom. 
A year later, she was diagnosed with a serious thyroid gland complication and had to get, undergo surgery, which forced her to spend the whole season sidelined. Her last gold came in the combined event at the Turin Games of 2006, where she also won silver in the Super G with four gold medals and two silver medals. She holds the record for the most medals obtained by a woman in the Olympic alpine skiing events. Dubbed the Snow Queen, the four-time Olympic champion announced she was retiring from competitive skiing at the pinnacle of her career aged 24. The decision was made due to long-standing health and injury problems. Yanitsa Kostelic is the only sports star in Croatia to be pictured on a stamp. Hori Vitsa. His breakthrough came in Aspen, USA in 2001. There he claimed his first career win wearing starting bib number 64, thus pulling off one of the biggest upsets in the World Cup skiing history. At the beginning of his career, he was a technical specialist racing only slalom and combined. However, as his career progressed, he became an all-event skier, reaching another level and joining the select group of World Cup racers able to excel in all disciplines. He became the first male skier to win a race in all four disciplines in the same season. Unfortunately, his career alternated between triumph and injury. Impressively, these injuries did not hinder him from earning four silver medals at the Olympic Games and winning overall World Cup. His accomplishments are quite impressive, and the impact this multidimensional scare has made on his country and sports in general is immeasurable. In 2017, he said goodbye to competitive skiing, but who knows what the future holds? Maybe he'll sail back to the Olympics one day. I'm sure you are now able to recognize the disciplines these two photos show. The photo on the left shows a slalom skier, while the photo on the right shows a downhill skier. It's our Ivica Kostelic. In the following listening comprehension task, you have to fill in the gaps with the missing words. Use only one word per gap. Read the text carefully and take some time to do this task. You can pause the video now. Let's read the text and check your answers. The first leg of the road to success for the Kosselich family was marked by the lack of two things, money and snow. However, the father, whose training methods were often called into question, encouraged his children not to give up and to chase their dreams. And they both dreamt of becoming Olympian medalists. Exhausting training regimen gave its results. Together they earned 10 Olympic medals and they both became the World Cup overall winners. Yanitsa retired from competitive skiing at 24 at the pinnacle of her career, while Ivica stayed in the white circus until 2017. And now the moment I've been waiting for since the beginning of the lesson. I'm among the lucky ones who had the privilege of watching Yanitsa and Ivica skiing alive, so the memories of the race you're going to watch are as vivid as they can be, and the race shows 100% sports heroism. Follow the link, sit back and enjoy it. So the winner doesn't always take it all right. This is your last task for today. Write a newspaper article of 100 to 120 words about the event you have just seen. The headline of the article is The winner didn't take it all, Yanitsa did. In order to make it easier for you, I've created this checklist. So make sure you stay within the limit of 100 to 120 words. Organize the article into two paragraphs. Make sure you include an opening sentence which summarizes the story very briefly by covering the what, who, when and where questions. And in the second paragraph or supporting paragraph, add more information, quotes, descriptions and answer the how and why questions. Just one thing before you leave, prepare one minute talk about the Kostelich family. And let's get back to your dream from the very beginning of the lesson. 
Would you still call it elusive? Goal orientation, enthusiasm, diligence, resilience, dedication make dreams come true. I hope you'll become a football player or a doctor you're dreaming of becoming. Bye-bye.